Caroline is here just a week or so after the surgery. And Caroline, what I'm going to have you do, because before you were blind, without the use of glasses, I want you to open your eyes and describe someone you see in that front row. Well, before I wouldn't be able to see anything. But now, if you look at the girl in the red shirt, I can clearly see the ruffles. And I can see that her eyes are brown. It's like seeing an HD. It's amazing. I, I can't even see her eye color. Do you have brown eyes? So you went from being legally blind to being able to see someone's eye color a good probably 40 feet away. Yeah, it's just, it's crazy. I can't describe how amazing it is. It's like going from watching like normal TV and then you flip like to the same station in HD and then you're just like, wow, it's so crisp and it's so clear. That's really what it's like. And you're it's someone amazing. who would wake up in the morning before you would put corrective lenses in or your eyeglasses on, you literally couldn't see no, I have much to, of anything. No, when I would wake up, I would just like, I'd lay like with my eyes closed and I'd like have to grope from where my glasses were because I had no idea where they were. So I know you're a fan and we're here with Dr. Robert Maloney, who is your ophthalmologist. And mm -hmm. Dr. Maloney, walk us through this amazing procedure that you did for Caroline. Sure. <clears throat> I've got a model here, Travis. And what we do is we make some small incisions with a laser. And then we take an implantable lens. This implantable lens is smaller than my little finger, fingernail. It's tiny. We roll it up like a carpet so we can take a tiny thing and put it through an even tinier incision. We slide it in through this small incision and place it behind the colored part of her eye so it's invisible, the outside world. So an internal contact lens. A contact lens. You don't have to clean it, take it out, change it, um, adjust it, rub your eye. It's all gone. It just stays there forever. So less visual deficit may be LASIK, but for someone at her level of visual deficit, this is a, a little bit more um, of an intense procedure. And I wanted to show everyone what Caroline's vision was like before. I think we have a before and after of what you might see. This is the before, and obviously you proved to us that the after is HD, quote unquote, TV, as you put it. Yeah. Um, yeah, her vision has gone better than 2020 now. It's what we call supervision. She's 2015, so she sees better than 90% of the people in the room. <laughs> and you just look at everyone yeah. and say, It's amazing. <laughs> Thank you.